old world is dying and the new world struggles to be born. Now is the time of monsters. We live in capitalism. Its power seems inescapable. So did the divine right of kings. Any human power can be resisted and changed by human beings. Only they who can keep their hearts strong and their will as sharp as a sword when the general disillusionment is at its worst can be regarded as a fighter for the working class or called a revolutionary. There is a light that never goes out. No one could blame you for being discouraged. The Tories won on a campaign of xenophobia and nationalism in the UK. Locking children in cages has only emboldened America's most vile. And religious fundamentalists have staged a coup in Bolivia, opening fire on their own citizens. The mainstream left has taken some blows. But now, just as much as ever, we need to stay on target. More and more people are waking up to realize that true emancipation will never come from bourgeois electoral politics alone, but from a unified working class, united together in solidarity. This doesn't mean we can't invest ourselves in these systems and shift the conversation left from there, but we can't just vote once per electoral cycle and believe that is enough. We need to stay on target. For most people, it begins when what was previously just background noise spills over into their real life, whether it's seeing racists marching in the streets or an underfunded hospital struggling to keep up. All of a sudden, the things you've heard passing mention of start coming together. You begin to form an image in your head. You're waking up. But not everyone gets it right away. And there are many people that will take advantage of this. Instead of raising a fist towards capital, millions have been fooled into blaming immigrants, refugees, Jews and Muslims, easy targets for right-wing populists looking to give simple answers to complex questions, sacrificial lambs for careerist ambitions. But harboring these prejudices isn't necessarily a failure of the individual. Millions of dollars are spent every year on stoking division amongst the working class. Whether by political parties, corporations, or even obscenely wealthy individuals looking to protect their own interests. Motivated by profit, these entities disregard public well-being, in a never-ending quest to trim the fat and increase profit margins, whether through shedding regulations that ensure the safety and security of the workers, or lobbying for lower taxes for the rich, clawing money back from the hands of the communities responsible for their profits. There is a significant portion of people that turn to these reactionary figures that aren't lost causes. They've just been lied to by the worm tongue so long that they've become divorced from true reality. Amongst them, there are many who have been failed by an unjust society, engineered to disenfranchise them. And when looking for answers, they've followed the pointing finger of their oppressors to blame the people they should be forming phalanxes with. Through a process referred to as manufacturing consent, the capitalist class filter propaganda down to the working class, whether it's through media moguls choosing which stories to focus on and which to ignore, or think tanks sponsoring new media personalities to launder their ideas. By the time they've convinced you, you've heard it on the radio, seen it in the papers, and watched it on TV. You won't even realize you've been convinced. This is what we're up against. Not just our misguided family members and friends that are missing critical information, but the rolling wheels of machines built to keep them misguided. Engines fueled by our labor and built with our bones. The only thing that stops these machines is the hands of the proletariat, the collective working class. This is why we need to stay on target. Only through solidarity across the working class can we force a shift towards a more equitable economic system. While sympathy can be the crack that lets a light in, and is a starting point for many, 
You can't just name check the plight of others. You need to take it further by fighting as hard as you can for the rights of others and show them how they can do the same for you. That is solidarity. This is the target. This is why the core of our politics must acknowledge not just class, but how it intersects with race, gender, ability, and even age. Our movement is invested in fighting for the rights of refugees and immigrants as it is for the safety of the elderly and incarcerated. We must ground our politics in ethical positions that ensure the best quality of life for as many people as possible. This is the target. The most potent anti-venom to toxic ideology is forming real, human connections and taking the time to genuinely engage with people outside of your own enclosed spaces. People will listen to you if they can see their own struggle in yours, so show them how our struggles are linked. Let this new year be the year you join up with others in your area and engage with people on the issues directly affecting your communities. Let this year be the year you commit yourself to enacting change. Let this year be the year you stay on target.